Union leaders demanded Theresa May takes no deal off the table and protect workers' rights after Brexit in the latest number 10 talks to salvage the divorce deal. Top chief Francis Ogardi was the first of the union barons to emerge from Downing Street today, while Unite boss Redlan McCluskey also appeared at the door to number 10. GMB General Secretary Tim Roach and Unison's Dave Prentice are also expected to see the PM today. Downing Street refused to reveal the detail of what was discussed at the meetings, which are part of a wider effort to find our way through the Brexit impasse. Mr. McCluskey said he hoped his first ever meeting with Theresa May was not a PR stunt. He stressed that our no deal Brexit would be disastrous and urged the Prime Minister to extend Article 50 beyond March 29 for three months. Mr. McCluskey said Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn was right to refuse to meet the Prime Minister unless she ruled out our no deal Brexit. The Unite leader Zaid companies were now putting investment decisions on hold because of the ongoing uncertainty. He added, he cannot conceive any prime minister taking us out of Europe with a no deal, it would be catastrophic. Apostroph Messing or Gradi Zaid workers are worried about their jobs and need reassurance about their future after the UK leaves the EU. The Prime Minister should do the right thing and take a no deal off the table so that genuine dialogue can take place, Apostroph she Zaid. Messing Ogradi added, Apostroph I was looking for guarantees on workers' rights now and into the future. We have a Prime Minister on a temporary contract she cannot bind the hands of a future Prime Minister. People wanting here job are on record as saying Brexit is an opportunity to reduce workers' rights. The Prime Minister should stop listening to the bad boys at the back of the class. More time is needed for genuine talks. Apostroph the PM is laying on the trade union charm offensive after her Brexit plan was rejected by 432 to 202 voters, the biggest defeat ever inflicted on a British PM. Mrs May held calls with the union chiefs less than a fortnight ago minus the first time she has ever picked up the phone to them. The high stakes wrangling comes as Mrs May desperately scrambles to fend off efforts by Rima Inas and Labour to tie her hands in a series of crunch voters on Tuesday. of the Premier have conceded she will be forced to try to delay the UK departure date beyond March if the Houses passes a mechanism proposed by Yvette Cooper and pro-EU MPs next week. There have been glimmers of hope for Mrs May amid evidence that Eurosceptics and the DAP are looking for a way of climbing down and supporting her plan.
Tory loyalist Simon Hart hold mail online today that he believed Tepenny appears to be dropping among hardline colleagues that the price of Brexit might be lost unless they compromise. But backbencher Johnny Mercer was braced by Eurosceptic MPs this morning after he demanded that Parliament stop scouring from no deal. Are we brave enough to face down the prospect of leaving the European Union without a deal if that's what it takes to keep the promise that has been made to the British people? Fragezeichen apostrophe he said. On Monday she signaled that she is would be prepared to give Union chiefs a say in the next stage of Brexit talks as she desperately scrambles to try to win more support. Addressing MPs on her so-called Brexit Plan B, Mrs May said, we will reach out beyond this house and engage more deeply with businesses civil society and trade unions. Apostroph on Tuesday she held calls with business groups including the B, the Federation of Small Businesses, and the Institute of Directors. After suffering a humiliating defeat on her Brexit deal, the PM is desperately trying to garner more support for her Brexit plans. But she was mocked by Labour and Trema in her MPs on Monday night after she unveiled her Brexit Plan B, and it looked remarkably similar to her Plan A. She again vowed to oppose a second referendum or any delay to Brexit, and instead pledged to go back to Brussels and try to get fresh concessions on the hated Irish backstop. Her words won plaudits from the dub and Brexit ears, but Tory Rima Innes and Labour accused her of running out of ideas. The scale of the opposition to the PM's plans was laid bare today as Remain plotter MPs finally unveiled their bid to water down and or block Brexit altogether, 